Welcome to GE Secondary English Language and Literature Department Newsroom. I am Passion. And I am Anik. <coughs> Today, we will be bringing to you the highlights of the department and how we make the learning of the English language and literature fun yet useful for you. Let's join Charlotte, our reporter on the scene. A very good day to all. I am Charlotte. First, JYSS English Department has an extensive reading program, ERP, for the whole school. We believe that the culture of reading is an important habit and a skill to instill in JYNs. Thus, every month, JYNs will receive interesting magazines ordered especially for them. Moreover, to whet our reading appetite for news around the world, we also have interesting articles created by our teachers to reflect on too. It is important for us to reflect on the material that we read daily and I'm glad that we get the opportunity to do so in school. Back to you, Newsroom. Thanks for that, Charlotte. Now let's move on to our next segment. Learning cannot take place unless we have a conducive environment. Let's go over to Berlin at the scene. Welcome to the English and Literature Department's learning space. I am Berlin from 2E1. Take a gander at this space. This is where the learning of English can take place beyond the classroom. Here, we have quotes to remind us the value of reading, of how we can explore the different worlds and cultures just by reading. Hi, I'm Zena from 2E3 and here we have an essay plan corner where we can host impromptu debates here as well. Hey Annie, have you heard of the ER Week competition entries this year? Due to the situations this year, we had to make some modifications but the students were still game for it. Of course, while well, the two-liner story competition was far more popular, I really enjoyed the vivid stories our friends wrote. Maybe, let's share it! I was caught red-handed. I turned around slowly. Empty your pockets, he said. Tears welled up in my eyes as the objects fell to the ground. The employee started shouting at me and it attracted a crowd forming around me. Why are you shouting at me? It's her fault too, I said, pointing to Maria. Fear flows throughout my body as my feet fly from underneath me. I land onto the dirt path with a small oomph escaping from my lips. I see several cuts and scratches scattered all over my skin, but my overwhelmed emotions override the pain that I'm supposed to be feeling. My eyes dart around wildly in search for my best friend, Alyssa, but she is nowhere in sight. I can hear the wild bee's pounding footsteps growing louder and louder, and I'm forced to leave her behind. Now I deeply regret agreeing to hang out with Alyssa in the woods late at night. That sure gave me the creeps that I can't wait for Nexus entries. Me too! Well, we've come to the end of our daily check-in. Before we sign off, we will leave you with some of our other activities for both English language and literature. Bye! Bye, -bye. Well, 2020 saw a drop in workshops due to the virus. We are happy to share the workshops we held in 2019. For the secondary two students, we had interactive activities to allow students to familiarize themselves with the use of levels in a performance. This helped tie in with literature. The upper secondary saw the secondary two students work on debating skills, while the secondary four students hold their interview skills. Here are some of the projects done by our set two literature students. As part of our lessons, the students have done up scrapbooks and posters, aligning the themes of their respective novels, The Boy in the Shite Pajamas for 2E and Wonder for 2NA. 2E students went one step further to critically compare their novel to another book of a similar theme. We hope you love the video that we have put together for you. We can't wait to see you in June.